Hello everyone, what the freak is up? 10.06 a.m. on August 13th. I put out a vlog a few days ago and I thought it was really fun, so I'm gonna do some more. I have a pretty long to-do list uh, for today and tomorrow, so I figured I'd do a little today and tomorrow vlog. Okay, so things that I need to do today in no specific order <laughs> are run by the post office. I have a Poshmark order to ship. I need to film a TikTok for my first ever TikTok sponsorship and I need to edit and submit that for approval. I have a bunch of emails that I wanna follow up on, plan an Instagram picture for a sponsorship that needs to be live before the end of this weekend. I need to reply to a bunch of DMs, edit a YouTube video that I should have hopefully live this weekend. And then I have a call at two o'clock with a reporter from Business Insider to talk about TikTok and sponsorships on there and Instagram. It's, I don't know, really interesting. It sounds like she does cool stuff. So I'll keep you updated on that. Oh, I wanna take a picture for Instagram just like for fun because I have some cute socks that I wanna take a picture picture in and then oh and then I need to film the sponsorship integration for this video what's up welcome to the sponsor portion of today's video oh, shout out to Curology for sponsoring this video I've actually been using Curology on my own dime I used it for like six months I think on my own my skin was how do you say trash I had a starry night of bumps on my forehead this picture from last year pains me. I always suffered with like bumps on my forehead. Not really so much redness, just straight up bumps. And I got those in like middle school and I had those bumps until literally senior year of college when I finally tried Curology. I tried everything. I'm not even kidding you. There was a time in my life where I was so desperate to get rid of these bumps that I put Germex on my forehead. So finally, I was like, let me just go ahead and try this out because I'd seen some of my favorite YouTubers talk about it. And your first bottle's free. You just pay $5 for shipping and handling. So I'm like, okay, let's do it. It's the worst that can happen. Okay, so here's the rundown. You'll send the provider um, pictures of your skin from all angles. I literally took mine in bed. I looked super ugly. It's fine. And you fill out a quiz talking about your skin type. But for me, I have normal to dry skin, dry skin around my nose pretty much the t-zone in general and then i said that i just had a lot of texture and bumps and then i also would, would get some redness on like the sides of my cheeks so much better now like that's where i would break out a lot over here with actual pimples when i did get them but i don't even get those anymore i swear i haven't had an actual pimple in so long it would honestly be very unsettling for me to get one now because it's been so long since i've had one let me just show you guys my forehead texture let's just discuss Like I'm trying to angle myself so you can see I don't have any bumps anymore. All right, so after you fill out your quiz, send them your side profile, I mean, and your front facing picture, but whatever. You get this in the mail. This is my new stuff. I've been squeezing the life out of this one, so I'm really excited to have some new ones. Every time the new ones come, it's just right in time. Invincible skin starts here. Oh here and then it gives you like a little rundown for what to do it's like little symbols so you know if you do it at day or night so here's all your little trinkets also this bag like closes and like locks so i use it to like pack these babies back up to go travel and stuff here's the cleanser i'll show you guys the consistency okay this is my old bottle of cleanser but i just want to show you oh what it looks like this is the medicated part that they custom make for you you can see it says lindy Gustin. that's me after i wash my face at night with the cleanser i just take two pumps of this baby put it all over my face once it's dry and then lock it all in with the moisturizer. There she is. I got the rich moisturizer because my skin is crusty and because I want to be rich. This is like such a simple routine and that's what kind of was weird after you go through so much with like trying to fix your skin, figure out what you're supposed to do. And then you get a simple routine that's like three products, two of which being a super simple, just nourishing, hydrating moisturizer and cleanser and then the medicated little super bottle. And then you're like, oh, that's all I had to do. And yes, that's literally all you have to do. It turns out, Less is more. I would have been so embarrassed to come on here in such good lighting with my freaking camera prior to using Curology. I've never been like a I have to wear makeup to go outside person. I have been self-conscious about going outside without makeup. Like when you're out there and you're like, ooh, I'm not looking so hot. When I started using Curology, I would just go to class without makeup on my face. No worries at all. The texture gone. Honestly, I'm looking even. I don't have any makeup on right now. That's what's up. Go ahead. Click on the link down below. It's right at the top. You won't miss it. Sign yourself up for the free trial. There is $5 shipping and handling, but like... That's literally the price of a coffee to see if Curology will work for you. All right, back to the video. Thank you, Curology. I really love you guys. Swag. The first thing we're doing is going to the post office. I have these Doc Martin combat boots. They don't need because I have the Jaden boots. So I wanted to sell them and they were literally never worn. So that's great. I'm on my way now. A little like drive through coffee place just opened up in my town and I'm gonna go give that place a try after the post office. Oh my God, there's a gnat. Anyway, I'm really excited because I was just in Branson with my family. Like Branson has become a kind of a tradition that we do every year. We just went and hung out for like a couple days. Anyway, there was a little drive through coffee place there and we went there like every day. I mean, we were only there for like two or three days, but anyway, I'm really excited because now we have one at home. I feel like I'm in a bit of a funk ever since getting in from out of town. 
but I have a lot to get done. So I sell a lot on Poshmark. I think my username is like Lindy in Goodson or something. I'll link it down below. I got it. Oh shoot. I gotta stir that caramel up. That was good though. I got the biggest size of the cold brew, which I think is 20 ounces, with coconut milk and caramel. I gotta give this a good stir though, because the caramel's like thick, which is super good, but I wanna make sure it gets mixed in. Okay, if I can get that stirred up, fire. Literally fire. I turn up. Yay, I'm so happy. <gasps> I'm so glad. I might get my hair done soon. I don't really know what I want done. I kinda like what we're working with, so I don't know. <laughs> I told you guys he loves getting his treat in the morning. So I have an email that says I have a USPS package coming today, or no, UPS package coming today. And I'm so excited because I said this in my last vlog, the serotonin really hits whenever I get a package. Okay, time to do my face. Makeup is done. As for my hair, I'm fine with the waves. My bangs are a mess, so I'm gonna fix them. That's better. So now I'm just gonna like kind of set up everything that I need for this TikTok and kind of like write, just make sure that I have the outline like in the order that I need it and film the clips. I got this Nike Court Victory tennis skirt. It's like Kelly green. I got it on Poshmark. So I'm gonna show that with this outfit. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna mention like, hey, I listed like six things on my Poshmark as well. I just finished filming the TikTok uh, for Poshmark. Now I'm gonna edit the footage. I'm gonna edit it on my laptop. Um, I film it on my camera, which I talked about in my last uh, day in the life vlog. I think it's gonna be a good one. 12.37 and I just emailed the draft of the Poshmark TikTok to my girl at Poshmark. And now I'm chilling. I have a call at two o'clock. Also, I have like a line of bronzer because I couldn't get it to blend out. So that's great. <laughs> I just had a lovely chat with Sydney from Business Insider. She does some really cool reporting. Hopefully the article that she just interviewed me for is out by the time that I'm posting this so that I can link it. I'm about to go grab lunch. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I eat, it feels like nap time. Just turned on my fan. Ugh, I think that I might, might lay down for a second. <laughs> and my puppy is here. Maybe he'll lay down with me. The only thing left on my list for today is to plan a picture, take a picture today. That's about it. Why am I this close? I don't know, but the lighting is so good right here. Except my unblended contour. Okay, bye. I'm gonna take a nap, I think. Okay, wait, so ignore my hair. I just got a package in and I wanna open it. I said in my last video that my favorite thing is whenever I get little little gifties in the mail. Let's see what this is, I have no idea. This is mine, right? Oh no, this is my brother's. You just committed the felony crime of mail theft. Hey everyone, it's like five or something. I just took a quick little little rest. The TikTok I filmed today got approved, so that will be going live tomorrow. Um, I ordered a pair of tennis shoes today. I was um, asking about them because they're so cute. They're, oh, <laughs> they're the Nike Blazer high tops mid i don't know what they're called but i've been wanting some of these shoes and then i ask on um instagram what everyone's favorite pair was oh i asked what everyone's favorite pair was it was between a pink pair or a yellow pair pretty much everyone said pink my mind was telling me to get the yellowy orangey one so i'll show you them they're the big kids Nikes, and I have pink Air Force Ones that were big kids. They're just like super sold out now, but they're so cute. And I always keep an eye out on like the big kids section because the size seven youth um, equates to like a women's eight and a half or nine. And I wear like an eight or eight and a half and I have the size seven in there. Perfect, if not even a little bit big. I haven't taken a picture today, which I wanted to do. I just put on plumping lip gloss and my lips are on fire. So that's great. I think I'm gonna go take a picture today of um, my pink Air Force Ones. That I was just talking about and these socks that I got at the polo outlet which I tried to do everything I could to look for these socks online and they just like straight up don't exist anywhere so anyway they're like pink and purple color block or then there's another pair that's like blue and pink and green color block I don't know which one I'm gonna do I just want to take a picture like of my feet in the grass I think I'm just gonna take it on my phone make it simple I have a tripod with a bluetooth remote for my phone here it is I got it on Amazon it's way easier than trying to use my camera for just a simple picture like this so I'm gonna go take that and I'll catch you on the flip. I don't know what to do with my hair. It's really annoying me. Hey everyone, what's poppin'? So yesterday I pretty much just dipped out. That was that. I had Indian food for dinner and I went to sleep and that was 
the end of it. It's now Friday, August 14th at 11.09. I had a call at 10.30 about a campaign that I'm doing, which involves making a custom face mask. So I'm really excited, but I have to do that. Like I have to finish the mask design today and I can't figure out what I want to do. So I'm on Pinterest trying to get inspiration for that. And then, well, you know what? Before I even do that, I need to upload the TikTok that I was telling you about yesterday and I need to, um, it's Poshmark. So I have to list a few items on Poshmark to go along with that. And then once that's done, I can email them. I'm going to just cross that off my list. And I was thinking maybe get a few pictures done today. I don't know. I'll catch you guys in a moment. Hey everyone. I don't remember what we discussed last time I checked in, but remember the mask that I said I needed to have designed by today? Turns out I actually don't have to have it designed by sun or till Sunday. So I'm chilling and it's so hot in my room here in a second. Maybe get ready and take a couple pics. I just got a package from, oh, that really scared me, but my dog is here. Okay, I just got a package from Carissima. Carissima, I don't know how to pronounce her store, but I can't remember how I found her. I think she replied to one of my stories and somehow she ended up having this really cute jewelry brand and was like, I wanna send you stuff. And I'm like, no freaking way, cause your stuff's so cute. Okay, so let's relocate right here. I feel like this is my designated spot for mail hauls. <laughs> and of course I'll link her stuff in the description and put the name on the screen. Cause I don't know if I said it right. Oh my God, it feels like so much, what the heck? Okay, first of all, packaging moment, adorable. All right, let's break this baby open. Okay, she wrote a little note. Lindy, I send you these cute accessories with lots of love. I hope you love and enjoy them. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, there's literally so much. Okay, so they come in little bags. How sweet, how lovely. Great for traveling. Oh my God, dude, why would you send me this? <laughs> you, I'm so ugly right now, but you did not have to send me this much. What the freak? Queen, literally queen. Look at these earrings, I'm freaking out right now. Rainbow colored baguette, diamond stars. Oh my God. Okay, an ear cuff. I literally sent her so much and I was like, dude, I'm sending you so much that I love, but just like work off of this. Obviously I don't need all this. Did not expect that at all. An ear cuff with little pearls. Oh my God. Okay, I'm taking a picture with these things today. This ring that I thought was so cute. It's like lips with like a starburst type of thing going on. Swaggy earrings, so cool. These also swaggy earrings. Dude, I'm freaking out right now. Hearts with like crowns, that's literally me. I love that, okay. Oh, I can't, I don't even think I showed her these, but I loved them. Little huggies with the rhinestone smileys. I didn't send her those because, well, I expected just to get like a few pieces and they were so cute, but I was like, you know, I really wanna make sure that I get good pictures and they like pack a punch. So I was like, these aren't necessarily so big for a picture, but I was literally gonna order these on my own because I want them just for every day. Bruh, why would she do all this? <laughs> okay, that was just one bag. What is in the next bag? Let's see. Is this a bracelet or an anklet or a necklace? I cannot tell. But it's like blue beaded with little gold charms on it. So great for layering. I would love to show you if it would focus. There we go. I don't know if this is a bracelet or a necklace. I'll figure that out in a little bit. I don't want to start unpacking things because ah! <laughs> I love these. Oh my God. It's like beaded cherries on earrings. I'm taking these out the package. Forget everything I said. And her prices were so affordable. This is bonkers in all honesty okay can you see how they're literally beaded cherries is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen my dog's like it is i want to eat them no i love these okay just beaded gold bracelets and then a silver one and they have little heart charms on them just for mixing as well i've been wanting something like this but i like that these have the heart charms because it kind of gives it like a little bit of extra pizzazz which you, you know i'm all about that oh my god I saw these on her account and I was like, I just want you to know that I love them, but I don't expect them. It's okay. So she has the Dior bracelets and look at this. It's like hot pink and it's a beaded one. Like I've never seen this until I saw it on her site. And you guys know I have my knockoff Dior bracelet. Hers are super affordable and I love the beaded version. That is so cute. Okay. I love this. You already know. Beaded necklace with a bunch of rainbow colored flowers. So freaking cute. Okay. I'm literally freaking out right now. Now I have another bag. This one's freaking heavy. Dude, again, you did not have to do all this. Oh, I love this. I'm, I can't, I have to take it out of the bag because you can't really see what we're working with here, but I just already knew this was a banger the moment I saw it on the website. Oh shoot. <laughs> okay. So this is like a set. First of all, I love before we even get to anything else, I love the like natural pearls on this. You can kind of see here. And then they have little colored beads in between and then they have love beaded on the bottom. I'm gonna wear this every day. And then it also comes with this rainbow beaded necklace with another naturally pearl type of moment. Then this like thicker gold chain with a pearl and a couple shells. Well, one shell and a shell charm. Like it's just so such fun stuff. What the freak is next? Okay, let's see, let me lay that down. This, I wanted this one so bad, this necklace. So unique, I've like, I mean, I've seen stuff like this, but it's like from the Swedish bloggers and they're like hundreds of dollars, you know? That super thick gold chain with those shells. Oh, so cool and like crafty and kitschy. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh my gosh, the idea of that with like a, just a simple white dress or a black dress for a night moment. 
Let's wrap this pandemic up. I gotta wear that necklace out quickly. That was literally way too nice. So I have to post this all on Instagram because I'm freaking out right now, but also I look really ugly. So maybe I'll put some makeup on and then do that. I'll see you guys in a second. This just rejuvenated me. I was feeling very sleepy. Okay, me and my goodies are gonna go get ready. Also you guys, I was gonna make a video. I don't think I've talked about these like on YouTube. These are the Arizona Love Sandals. I bought them because a bunch of Swedish bloggers that I follow or like Scandinavian in general bloggers had them and looked so cute. And I wanted to compare them to just like a pair of Tevas and see like pretty much if I could DIY them. And the answer is I absolutely could DIY them. That was probably a waste of money, but oh well. That's a cool designer cool brand so I'm not mad about it but I got Tevas and I've started wrapping them I don't have them done yet I bought this fabric I was gonna make a video about this but it was literally so easy that I was like I, you don't need me to do that I bought the fabric it literally was perfect I got it at Michaels I'll put up a picture on the screen it's like this roll of fabric scraps like sewing scraps I think and I got that like rainbow tie-dye pack perfect length I mean I cut them but like perfect width yeah everything worked out but I still need to do the top strap I'm gonna like end up using I think E6000 on the strap because I don't want to sew hey what's up long time no chat are you zoomed in no I would love to show you um a mirror moment but my room is such a mess in the background that it's embarrassing well I'm wearing this um red and white striped dress from forever 21 and let's see gold and silver and stuff hair done makeup done now i'm off to take a picture for a collab um which is like my favorite collab of all time probably and it's my um bud seltzer campaign me my tripod my camera my phone we're gonna go outside and set this baby up on the back porch and then i really want to plan a picture with those cherry earrings from earlier. I was thinking about wearing them today, but I think they deserve like hair up, red lips, white sunglasses, like a whole moment. Okay, I'm breaking a lot. Okay, this is the angle I think I'm gonna take the picture at. Not bad, but a day on the job is drinking a seltzer on your back porch. Okay, what do we think? This dress is like kind of like a loincloth actually, <laughs> whenever you sit down at least. Okay, I just got done. The lighting was beautiful. I think they turned out really good. I sometimes don't have so much success with um, tripod and self timer picks, but I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, I'm back at it again. This time, you know, some necklaces that I'm gonna take a picture in. I kind of want to lay on the grass. I'm probably gonna get hella bugs in my hair, but I'm gonna do it. There we go. That's gonna hit, don't we think? Okay, I only ended up getting a couple pictures taken. It's getting pretty dark, and I'm honestly just really tired and I'm sweaty. Now I get to do my favorite part of the day, and that is editing. Where the frick is my iPad? I'm gonna edit these pictures. Here they are. Here's the final result. Go ahead and guess what I'm doing. I am going to the post office with more orders. My lens is fogging up because it's so humid outside. I have a bunch of Poshmark orders to ship and then I'm gonna grab coffee afterwards. It's literally noon on Saturday. I went to sleep at like three last night and then I had to get up this morning at six to take my brother over to my boyfriend's house to go get some golf clubs that he was borrowing. This is a fiasco. Oh my god, I'm sweaty. Anyway, moral is, I woke up at 6 and was up for like an hour. Then I went back to sleep for a few hours, got up at 11 and printed labels, and now I'm gonna go ship and get coffee. There's probably not a vlog that I'm not going to the post office. I feel like I'm the post office's number one fan. I'm there all the time. Okay, mission accomplished. Please guess how many rolls of packing tape I have in my purse. One, two, this one's actually empty now, and three. This one is trash quality. I don't know where I acquired this, but it's garbage. And then I have a giant mega roll in the floorboard of my car. Today I just got cold brew on its own. And then as I was leaving, I almost cut off a police officer. So looking forward to getting pulled over. Oh, they actually are turning now. The same way I'm going. <laughs> Keep forgetting I have all this mascara under my eyes. And I just know that everywhere I go, people are like, that girl must have had a hard night. No. I just didn't wash my mascara off. So we're out of the creamer that I normally use, but I found this in my fridge. It's the uh, Califia, Califia, Wiz Califia, Mia Califia. Sorry, almond milk creamer. <laughs> um, it's vanilla, oh, real almond and coconut cream and it's vanilla flavored. So it looks really thick. Dump some in. I would love, um, I am very uncomfortable with the thickness that I've experienced. That is a dollop of creamer. This says it's good until October. I'm gonna give this a big shake. I kind of want to throw up. Okay, let me pour some in the sink and see if the texture changes. I just spooned that out. That was... Insert gagging noise here. Okay, that was at least a little bit runnier. God, that really freaks me out. Okay, it's fire. Just tasted it, we're good. 
I don't know if I just needed to shake it more. I don't know if I just needed to not be so scared when I saw the texture, but we good now. Guess freaking what, you guys? Okay, you already know what time it is. Mail haul. <laughs> okay, this, first of all, I'm really excited about these. These are bracelets that um, one of my sorority sisters made. She's a year younger than me, so she's a senior this year, and she was posting about these on her story. Enjoy your bracelets, sweet girl Illy, from Leah. Thanks, Leah. Okay, so they're little beaded custom bracelets. Literally so cute. So they're gold beads, and then I got three. I got the, <laughs> my name, which is normal, in little colorful heart beads, and then I got rainbow letters that say beans. I don't know. I just felt it in my heart, and I eat beans, like, every day. I love beans and I stand by beans, so. And then I got L Love J, which is for me and my boyfriend Jake. <laughs> now I have those three cuties. Swag. Okay, what is this? This is from the post office. I think it's because I did this address change because I have so much old mail that keeps ending, ending up in Oxford. And I'm like, I've told everyone. It's like from companies too. And I'm like telling them like, hey, dead ass, that's not my address anymore. And then they're like, just shipped it to Oxford. And I'm like, so I did like a change of address thing. My curology for this month, which is lovely seeing as I was running low. And then this is what I'm so excited about. I ordered a dress from a girl, Claire Hornsbeak is her name. And she's on TikTok, she's the cutest style. You've probably seen her, even if that name doesn't ring a bell, you've literally seen her, I'm willing to bet. I was on TikTok one day and I just like happened to come across her account right as she was posting her Depop drop. And I got this Betsy Johnson slip dress that I'd been wanting from her. Adorable, ruffles, frilly, pretty sheer, so I'll just put a slip on underneath it. I really just want it for a picture. And then actually a girl DM'd me on TikTok and was like, hey, would you be willing, cause I commented on her video and was like, oh my God, I got the slip, whatever. She's like, would you be willing to sell me the slip? I really wanted the slip, could you sell me the slip? I'm like, yeah, literally just give me a second. I'm just gonna take a picture in it and then I'm selling it to her. So if you ever want anything of mine, just let me know. I'm kind of always cycling in and out of stuff cause it's like my low key job. So honestly, a lot of the things that I have are for sale <laughs> at all times. Some of the things not, but some of them, like I'm willing to ship them on out once I get some content. So I'm just so excited about this. Isn't it adorable? I don't know how I want to do a picture in this, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> 